Right, I'm looking at Mr. Ridley's RMT revision, and this is video number two, and this is types of metal. So we're going to look at types of metal you need to know for your exam. Um, there are two different types of metal. Can we name them? Are ferrous metals, and these contain iron. So any metals that are derived or contain iron um, are ferrous metals, and they are almost all magnetic, and most of them rust. Non-ferrous metals, these are metals that don't contain iron, so they tend not to rust. That's the two main types of metal. If a metal is <coughs> contains iron, then it is a ferrous metal. All other metals are non-ferrous. If you can remember these six metals, you'll be doing well. Steel, stainless steel, cast iron, and the non-ferrous, aluminium, copper, and brass. That's really all the metals you need to know. The first metal, then, mild steel. What can we say about this metal? It is the most common metal. It can take knocks without damage. It's tough, so it's a strong, durable metal, but it's cheap. If you can remember one metal to answer a question with, mild steel is a good one. It's easily pressed into shape, so most cars are made from mild steel and pressed into shape. It is magnetic, um, it's quite tough, so it doesn't wear and it's quite easily recycled but you've got to remember it uses energy to recycle so although it can be recycled it does use a lot of energy and of course because it contains iron it rusts this is a metal this is a ferrous metal this is stainless steel now stainless steel is an alloy by adding some other metals small other metals amount of other metals to the steel um, we get stainless steel what's different about stainless steel it's very tough it's it it's easily works. It can be pressed into things like the sink. Generally magnetic. Um, it's easily cleaned and it doesn't rust. That's the most important thing about stainless steel. By making it into an alloy, it doesn't rust. So knives and forks, sinks, these kind of things um, are made from stainless steel. Um, it can be recycled, but again, it uses lots of energy. Because it's hard, it needs special equipment for drilling, cutting, and of course welding so it's not generally used in school workshops and it's more expensive than mild steel high carbon steel what do you need to know about this high carbon steel is a very tough um, steel used to make tools drills files so by adding carbon to the steel it makes it tougher it generally needs to be heat treated and it can be recycled it rusts if not protected so I say drills tools screws are carbon steel Right, we're going on to non-ferrous metals. This is, of course, a non-ferrous metal. What can we say about aluminium? Well, first of all, aluminium is lightweight. Uh, Aeroplanes are made of aluminium. Some sports cars now are made of aluminium. Instead of being pressed from mild steel, they are made from aluminium because it makes them more lightweight. It's easily worked. It's easily pressed. Um, it can be cast. It is a good conductor of electricity. It's got reasonable corrosion resistance, but it is more expensive. But it is very easily recyclable. Again, uses energy, but it's quite easy to recycle. Most aluminium cans and things are recycled. This metal, another common non-ferrous metal, copper. Very good at conductor of electricity. So copper, non-ferrous metal, malleable. That means it's easily shaped, drawn into wire, tubes, um, it's a very good conductor of electricity, so it's generally used for um, wires, it's used in all kinds of electronic products, phones, everything like that. Um, again, easily recycled, but it is very, very expensive. One of the most more expensive um, common metals, it, because it is in demand for electronics and things, so quite often recycled. Um, it does tarnish, but it doesn't rust. Now, we're looking at this metal. This is zinc. What's important about zinc is not the metal, but what it's used for. It's used for galvanizing. Galvanizing is a protective coating. So mild steel, look at those railings there. They're dipped into a hot bath of zinc and they are galvanized. That is a protective coating used on mild steel to protect against rust. So again, a non-ferrous metal, very resistant to corrosion. So the galvanized bin dipped is mild steel dipped in, in zinc and that becomes galvanized. So it's a very good protective coating, um, but on its own, it's quite a brittle metal. And again, can be recycled. Last of all, brass. 
what can we say about brass a non-ferrous metal good resistance to corrosion um, easily cast it's a good conductor of electricity can be polished it's relatively expensive um, but and there's different grades of brass for different things but an, an example of brass might be fittings or something that you'll put onto your product